In this video, I'm going to show you how to pipe two really easy buttercream flowers using a 104 piping tip. There's two different petal shapes to give you two different types of flowers and it's a great way to practice holding the tip at different angles and making different shapes with it. Always put a crumb coat of buttercream on your cupcake. It will cover any gaps that you might have in between petals. If you don't like your flower, you can flick it off and start again without having any cake crumbs in your buttercream. The colours I've used here are Sugar Flare, Dusky Pink, Stroke Wine, and for the centres I've just used some Pro Gel Olive Green. The piping tip I'm using for this flower is the Wilton 104. It's a teardrop shape uh, petal piping tip. You've got this thin end at the top, which is always going to create the edges of your petals. And this fat end at the bottom is at the base. So you want to always make sure that this thin end is at the top when you're piping your petals. Inside the piping bag, I've run some white buttercream up the thin end of the piping tip and then the rest of the bag are filled with the pink colour. Now I've actually got too much buttercream in my bag here, you want to have just a small palm full of buttercream um, in your piping bag and you want to make sure when you're piping that your bag is really really tight so get a good grip on it between your thumb and give it a twist round I like to wrap this bit around my thumb I find I've got a better grip on the bag. Make sure you've got that thin end of the tip pointing outwards and we're going to make circle shapes to form these petals so it's all in the wrist. I'm going to hold the piping tip parallel to the cupcake so it's not pointing upwards or downwards it's just running alongside the cake. And we're going to make teardrop shapes by twisting it round like this as we pipe. So line your piping tip up against the edge of the cupcake so you know how big the petal's going to be. Turn your wrist and then as you squeeze, come round in a circle, stop piping and come off. So again, move along a little bit to give that petal space and start in the same place. Squeeze as you come round, stop squeezing and come off. Go round, come off. You always want to turn the cupcake. So after you've done each petal, turn the cake so that your piping hand stays in the same place and is comfortable. So come round, stop squeezing, come off around, stop squeezing, come off. One more in here. And there's your first row of petals done. Now set the cake down and we're going to tighten up the bag because it's got splodgy. So give it a twist around. Make sure you've got that angle of the tip in the right place. And if there's any buttercream on your piping tip, wipe it off on a piece of paper towel. So any buttercream on the piping tip is going to squash all the petals that you've just put on. So I'm going to do another layer now and I'm going to try and come in between each petal. So again, move your wrist around in a circular motion to make these rounded teardrop shaped petals. Now you can see the angle of the piping tip it's come up ever so slightly because there's already a layer of buttercream underneath it. Just keep turning the cake, squeeze, go round, stop, come off. I'm going to put one more row in here. So just go all the way round with these little circles. It doesn't matter if you get in between the petals before or not just gives it a little bit more texture if you can get them staggered like this. 
and there's our three rows of really pretty petals. You can see the effect that it has when you put that white buttercream around the edges. Now to make the center of the cupcake, I'm gonna use this number four round piping tip. If you haven't got one, you can just snip a tiny bit off the end of a piping bag. So make sure you haven't got too much in your bag, push it all down to the bottom and get it really tight so you've got full control over what comes out. Now to pipe the centers, we're just gonna make little dots. So touch the piping tip to the cake, squeeze, stop squeezing, come off. And you make these tiny little blobs. You wanna go all the way around that center. If you're finding it difficult to hold the cake and pipe, you can set the cake down on the table, steady yourself with your other hand like this, and pipe in exactly the same way. And then you always wanna move the cupcake so that your piping hand stays in the same position and is comfortable. And then we'll fill in the middle. Now you can see as I'm piping, I'm not moving that piping tip at all. I'm just touching the cake, squeezing, and then coming off. Touch, squeeze, off. Now I like my centers to be rounded. So I'm gonna put another layer of these dots over the top. I'm gonna to come in from the edge a little bit. So come in one dot, and then go around again and do exactly the same thing. Touch, squeeze, off. Touch, squeeze, off. Keep going round until you've filled in the whole of the center. And there is your first buttercream flower with the 104 tip. Now we'll make another flower with exactly the same tip. This time we're gonna make the petals a little bit longer. So I'm gonna mark out the center here with this other piping tip. I'm just gonna place it in the middle of my cake, make sure it looks central, and then push it in a tiny little bit. And you've made yourself a round marker as a guide. So take up your 104 piping tip, make sure you've got the thin end at the top, push all your buttercream down and make sure your bag is really nice and tight. And you've got a really good grip on it, not too much in your bag. So starting from the middle here, I'm gonna just come up in an up and down motion and I'm gonna keep the piping tip parallel to the cupcake. So lay it against the cake, squeeze and just go up and down. Turn the cupcake, squeeze and go up, come down, turn the cake, up, down, when I get to the bottom I've stopped squeezing I'm still keeping that piping tip moving as I go around and it gives you a nice neat finish. I'm not making any movements with the piping tip at all. You're literally just going up and coming back down. You can make these shapes with any of the teardrop shaped piping tips. So if you've got a 102, a 103, or a 124, you can make these shapes with a piping tip. Now when you've gone all the way around your first layer, you wanna clean off your piping tip on a piece of paper towel. And then just make sure that you tighten up that piping bag. It's really important to have a tight bag when you're piping flowers. 
I'm going to put another layer of these petals over the top and I'm going to come in a little bit when I get to the top. So I'm going to start off in the same place, go up but not quite as far as the first row and you'll get this lovely layering and texture of petals. So come up and down and you're starting and finishing in exactly the same place. Maybe one more petal in here and there. Two rows of long petals. And now we're going to fill in the centre. So take up that number four round with the green. Make sure your bag is nice and tight. And then we'll do the same thing, just put tiny little dots all the way around the centre just cover up all the edges of those petals and you always turn your cake so that it's comfortable for you if you're finding it hard put the cupcake down on the table and steady your other hand like this then I'm going to put another layer in over the top just to give it that rounded look. You could make this in um, white buttercream with a yellow centre and you have a daisy. And there we go. There's your two really easy buttercream flowers using a 104 and a number 4 round.